Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Pisces. Pisces, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 29th of March through the 4th of April, 2021. Now you guys, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Now I have a quick announcement. I am offering personal readings at this time. So if you are interested in having a reading with me, email me, hiddentruthtarot at gmail.com, okay? I also do daily oracle readings over on my other channel, Taria Goddess of Earth, and I do planetary magic, um, mojo bags, oils, all just a bunch of different stuff, okay? And we're fixing to start classes over there, working with pendulums, and finish up the tarot class as well. All right. Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. All right, Pisces, you got the lover as the situation. In your foundation, beautiful, you have the chariot. What's benefiting you this week is the Four of Swords. In your crowning position is the Five of Pentacles. Your outcome energy is the Nine of Cups. Woo, look at that. I tell you what, Pisces, some of you have really been through some hardships here lately. So you're thinking about it. It's on your mind, but you're coming out of it. Okay, just remember that. Now I'm going to pull a rune for you as well, a rune card. All right, energy. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. There you go, Pisces. We will read that. Let's see here. We'll go ahead and read this first. All right, so I'm looking at this, and this is, you know, crazy because you have number sequence here four five six and seven okay and then you have the number nine wow all right all right so you know this is the gaz or the gaz i hope i'm pronouncing it right that's the shape of the rune okay usually they come in like um stones or uh, i have several st uh, sets they're beautiful um this is a good way to learn about them as well. I like this because this gives me insight on your theme. Which it's a deeper understanding of what's going on with you, Pisces. Okay. Now, Degas. This represents transformation. Okay. Polarity. Yin. Yang. Counterbalance. Enlightenment. Change. Now, you can use this rune for magical workings as well if you guys like to uh, do like ritual work and stuff like that or any, any type of candle workings. You can use these runes and it gives you how, what you can use each one for. And it says, magical working, reversing energy, balancing forces, bring about change, self-transformation, okay? As different as night and day, dawning of a new day. The caterpillar becomes the butterfly, opposing sides in balance, self-transformation, growth, changing one's point of view, switching sides, major life changes, okay? So, you know, this reminds me of the energy of death, okay, literally. Uh, going through a huge shift, a huge change. I feel like for some of you, you know, you have, you've had to move, okay, relocate to get another career or job because you may have lost it during this, this situation with COVID. Uh, I do see an upset here. I mean, it's not an upset in the reading. It's what you've been through, okay, and you're coming out of it. But this is what's on your mind is that five of pentacles, right? You know, you know what financial hardships are and it's it's you've had a lot of setbacks here now your situation is the lovers this is the energy of a gemini coming through here 
This is all about balancing energies as well, balancing relationships, okay? Some of you, uh, you may be going through a divorce, all right? And if you're going to court, you're going to be happy, okay? Because if you're watching this and you're going through a, a divorce, a nasty divorce, the outcome is going to be in your favor, okay? Some of you had a breakup, okay? Um, you know, you were st stuck at home, not being able to work, and you're with your partner, and guess what? You guys realized you don't get along, okay? And that's what's happened with a lot of married couples as well. I'm also seeing a move here. Some of you moved. You had to relocate. Okay, but it's all for the betterment of your situation. Now you have the chariot, the energy of cancer right here. Okay, this is a powerful energy. This is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. What I love about this, okay, again, we're talking about balancing uh, energies, bringing opposing forces together with your will, okay, your willpower. You are strong. You know, your inner strength, your your mental strength and mental power is just off the charts, Pisces. Definitely, some of you took a trip. You journeyed somewhere else. Now, it could have been a trip to see someone or go look for a job or a move, okay? I do feel like for some of you, you have recently got a job and it requires you to travel a lot, now, if any of you have been having problems with your vehicles, okay, get it fixed. You don't want to end up on the side of the road somewhere, smoke flowing out of your car, and you, you're just stuck. You don't know what's wrong with it. Get it taken care of now, or at least find out what's wrong with it so you can start to save money to be able to fix it, okay? Now, this talks about you triumphantly moving forward. You know, moving away from problems, challenges, difficulties, okay? You're going after your happiness, Pisces. You're going after what makes you feel good, okay? What brings you peace and joy and harmony. That's what you're going after right here. Not only are you going after it, you know what you want. You know where you're headed. You know how you're going to get there. You know, you've got it all planned out, and it's going to be successful. This is a promise of success right here. Now, the Four of Swords is in the position of what's benefiting you this week. Okay, taking some time out. Maybe taking a day off or on the weekend, going and connecting with nature, connecting with your higher self, meditation. It's important that you're taking time out to refill your cup. Why? Because you have that energy of serendipity right here. You have a blessing coming in here. Pisces, you need to make sure that you are ready for it because it's going to show up, okay, very quickly. And you're going to have to act very quickly. Okay? Make sure you guys are tending to number one. Now you have the Five of Pentacles right here in your crowning position. This is what you're thinking about. This is what you know. This is what you've been through. Rejection, financial hardships, setbacks, one right after another. But you know what? It's mirroring this chariot right here. You're moving out of that energy. And look what you're moving into. The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment, emotional satisfaction, joy, happiness, okay? You're going to make it to your destination, to your goal. This is you getting that career. This is you finding that house, okay? This is you starting your business. This is you uh, successfully, uh, you know, there's an ending here that's successful on your end with the divorce, okay? Okay? Some of you are planning something here. This could be a wedding or a baby shower. Make sure you're not the one doing all the work, okay? Make sure that there's people are participating as well, all right? I feel like it's not your place to take on 
everything, all right? And I feel like there could be somebody or, or a lot of people trying to put a heavy load or burden on you to, you know, host something, uh, especially a wedding or a baby shower. And, you know, everybody needs to play a part, okay? That's fair. All right, Pisces, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart, you guys. Hopefully next week I'll turn the comments back on. Um, just know that I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, Pisces.